Today, we're gonna talk family. Hey guys, it's Joseph Diego here from josephdiego.com and growing with Joseph Diego, where I share my journey with you from the ordinary to the extraordinary so that we may grow together. Now, today, you saw what we started with, family. Family, family. Guys, for me, that's what it's all about. I've got to really, really be honest with you. If if I fail, and I, you know, I can't even say I'm a failure, you know, if I don't achieve the certain goals, all those, those ambitions, all those things that I want, all right, uh, it might be because of my family. See, because for me, my family comes first before anything. Grant Cardone, he says it clearly. He says, you know what? It's your duty, your obligation, and your responsibility to succeed for them. And at times, you may have to put them on the back burner. Well, I'm sorry, Grant. I can't put my family on the back burner. There is nothing more important to me than my daughter, than my mother, than my wife, than my grandson, than my Uncle Danny. I just got back from Brooklyn. I've been at it since I left this house at 7 o'clock this morning. And we just got back. It's about 7 o'clock this evening. And first I had to take care of some business. I had a traffic ticket, a little traffic violation. That's another thing I got from Grant Cardone. You know, he likes to go fast. So do I. But, you know, the tickets hit me a little bit hard. I don't have lawyers like he does. But the main thing is that I took the day off to take care of that. But I have an Uncle Danny that I love. And he's my mother's older brother. And he's older. And, you know, we want to spend some time with him before he makes his transition. So to me, that is so, so, so important. Yeah, there are a lot of things that I needed to do. But my family comes first. In my apprenticeship, in my trade, my skilled trade as an a HVAC journeyman, one of the most important things that stuck with me the most is when Mr. Schlitz, Tommy Schlitz, said to me, Joseph, don't you ever forget, family comes first. And you know what? I never did. And I'm going to tell you what. I will never regret not having enough money, but I will regret not having my family by my side. I will regret not spending the time that I that I have with my grandson or my grandchildren, my other grandchildren. Not spending the time, not giving the, the attention to my mother when she decides to make her transition. See, that is so, so important. So what I'm trying to say is that you have to find that, that balance. You have to find that balance because, you know, I hear of a lot of people out there. Uh, one that drives me kind of nuts is, is, is um, what's it, Gary, Gary V, Gary V, if you see this, you know, I hope you don't take this to offense, but, you know, you're successful, you've done a lot, but you're missing your children growing up, you're doing so, so much, and I hope that you're not, and I hope those weekends, but there's moments that I feel that, that he probably lost, that he probably missed out on because he was too busy going after that football team. That's, I think that's what he wants, right? That's what he wants to be, a, to own, I think, the New York Jets or the Giants. I think he wants to own them. And at that journey he's given up, that's a big sacrifice. That's a sacrifice that I'd never want to give because I feel that when I meet my creator, I don't think he's going to ask me about the football team that I earned. I think he's going to ask me, what did you do with that grandson that I gave you? What did you do with that wife that I gave you? What did you do with that mother, that daughter, that son? How did you do with your uncle? How did you do with your grandma? And that's, that's so, so, so important to me. You see, having those things in your life is part of success. I, I, I feel that is so important. Being able to spend the time with my wife when she wants me to. Yeah, we have to take care of our own things and we go live our lives. But there's times, you know, I married this woman to be my best friend and to be there through thick and thin. And yeah, she's supportive of what I'm doing right now. And I know they will, but there's going to be times when she's going to call and I'm going to have to say, well, listen, you know what? I've spent enough time doing this. Now I have to take care of my responsibility. Now I have to take care of this person that I made these vows to. And I've always made vows. It doesn't matter if it's your wife. 
vows are made to your grandmother and to your father and to those people. And, and you know, I, there's a lot of things that I've had to grow with other people in my family. Because you know what? Some people say, you know, they don't, I don't know, they don't feel comfortable with their family. I don't know. Like I said, if, if by any chance I don't make it, I'm really not going to have any regrets because I know it's going to be because I spent all that time with my family. So, with that being said, what else do I got to say? Nothing much. Wow, today's going to be a short one. Please remember this, all right? Yes, it's our duty and our obligation and our responsibility to succeed. But don't forget, family comes first. With that, I'm making this a short one. Take care. Stay blessed. This is Joseph Diego.